To get set up with Google Plus for the first time, you'll want to log into your Google account with BSD100. Um, go to your Google Drive, and up at the top you'll see a black bar. And on the left-hand side, you'll see a little button that says Plus U. Click on the Plus U button, and you'll be prompted to set up your profile. So here you'll have your name, choose your gender, your birthday, get all that information set up. You can also upload a photo. Um, I would recommend that you do this. I'm not going to do this right now, but it's simply add your photo here so people know who you are. It'll help you recognize people and help people recognize you. Um, and then you'll want to say upgrade. The next page is you can start to search for people you know on Google+, but you're probably going to want to skip this step because this Google Plus account is with um, your BSD100, so you probably don't want to connect people from outside of BSD100. So just say skip this step and continue anyway. If you want, you can follow people on Google+, just like you know on Twitter or, or kind of like Facebook, um, if you want news about any certain things. However, um, I use Google Plus just for work-related things, so I wouldn't want to, you know, add pet boys or, or something like that. But you may want to add something regarding technology or news, um, or you can search down here, and there's a lot of different things. So that's up to you. I'm not going to follow anybody right now. Continue. <laughs> you might be lonely. That's okay. Continue anyway. And now you're here to your profile setup. So where it says, where do you work? You know, South Berwyn. District 100, or you could say, you know, Freedom Middle School. Put your job title. Um, you can add where you've gone to school, where you currently live. That's all up to you what you want to share. Um, and then right here, this is how you're going to look to other people, unless they click on your full profile. So you can also just do a little snap of photo and just take a picture right from your uh, FaceTime camera. Um, but we'll say finish. Saves your profile. And then it's going to tell you welcome. You can take a tour. You can find friends. You can share with your circles. But we're just going to say continue. Once you get here, um, it's going to prompt you to complete your profile. It will always remind you. But here is your, like, your, your Google Plus stream. So a lot like Facebook, you have a stream of... Um, information coming in. So a lot of this is at the beginning Google Plus shares some things with you so you don't feel lonely. Um, but you'll notice on the left side you have a home tab, a profile tab, explore, photos, communities, events, find people, and you also have more. So you can kind of customize which things you want to show up on the left side. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to um, profile and this is where you can customize your profile. Um, you can add a, a cover photo, so you can add a pretty photo in the background. And then if you want, um, you can get to other information here. The next thing you'll want to do is go to Find People. And Find People, um, and then your Circles. So in your Circles, Google automatically creates circles um, called friends, family, acquaintances, and following, because those are sort of the basics. You can always um, add new circles, so you can create a circle, and maybe you want to say, um, you know, let's say you teach math, so you could say math teachers. And you can create an empty circle, that's fine. You can create a whole bunch of circles, and then when it says find people, this is where you can start to search for people. So let's say you wanted to search for um, uh, me, you could type in my name and find me right here and you could add me to your circles. This is my BSD 100, this is an extra BSD 100. So if you say add to circles, then you pick which circle you would add me to. So if I'm a friend, 
acquaintance, or maybe I'm a new circle and you would want to say um, freedom if I had taught there. And then you could add me to freedom. If you want to also add me to friends or to family, you can put people in many circles. And what circles do is they let you share information just with specific people. So if you want to share something just with math teachers, then all the math teachers, you put them in the circle. Here's more. You can see all the people who are in that circle. So if you recognize somebody else, you can add them to your circles. So it's just a process of you organizing all the people within D100 into the circles that you want.